मिसिस कोको आई नो दैट वाइल्ड ब्रीदिंग वी टेक इन ऑक्सीजन एंड एक्सहेल कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड बट हाउ डज ऑक्सीजन गेट टू आर सेल्स हाउ डू सेल्स कैरी आउट रेस्पिरेशन वेल रेस्पिरेशन इज कैरीड आउट बाय द रेस्पिरेटरी सिस्टम व्हिच कंसिस्ट ऑफ द नोज लैंग्स ट्रेकिया ब्रोंकाइ एंड लंग्स Let's take a closer look at the journey of air through the system and our body. Air enters our body through the nostrils and through the mouth. The nose produces a liquid called mucus. The mucus filters out dust, dirt, and microbes from the air. Tiny hairs in the nose also stop pollen and allergens from entering our body. The air enters the throat and passes through the larynx do you recognize the larynx the vocal cords present in the larynx allow us to produce sounds and talk with one another the air then reaches the windpipe which is also called the trachea the trachea extends downwards from the bottom of the larynx the walls of the trachea are made strong by rings of cartilage that keep it open even while we sleep The trachea also contains mucus and hair which further filters the air. The trachea then divides into two branches called the bronchi, the plural of bronchus, leading to two large organs responsible for breathing called the lungs. One bronchus goes to the left lung and the other to the right lung. The lungs are spongy and balloon-like structures inside the rib cage. Each bronchus divides into smaller branches called bronchioles, just like branches of a tree. The bronchioles end in tiny air sacs called alveoli, which look like a bunch of grapes. Each alveolus is surrounded by blood capillaries that contain blood. It is here where the exchange of gases takes place. Oxygen passes from these air sacs through the capillary walls into the bloodstream. It mixes with the blood that is carried to the cells for respiration. Wow! That's how oxygen gets into the bloodstream. Yes, exactly. During respiration, cells use oxygen to convert food into energy. Carbon dioxide is produced during this process too much carbon dioxide in the body is harmful so it has to be removed immediately blood vessels carry carbon dioxide from the cells to the alveoli here carbon dioxide passes from the blood into the air sacs and finally leaves the body when we exhale in other words it is the reverse process of how oxygen gets into our blood this is really amazing But how does air move into and out of the lungs while breathing? Air can't move by itself. Great observation. There is a C-shaped muscle called the diaphragm at the bottom of our lungs that controls our breathing. When it contracts, it causes the rib cage to widen and in doing so allows our lungs to expand. This allows air to be sucked into the lungs. When the diaphragm relaxes, the opposite happens. Our rib cage contracts and in doing so compresses the lungs which pushes the air out. Time for a fun fact. A person breathes approximately 20,000 times in one day.